Hi, I'm Daniel Weisberg, Search Advocate at Google. And today, I'll talk about how to use Search Console to improve your AMP implementation. By the end of this video, you should be able to find AMP issues Google discovered in your website, fix them, and ask Google to validate your fixes. Before I discuss the Search Console reports, I would like to give a quick intro to AMP, just in case you're not familiar with it. AMP, or Accelerated Mobile Pages, is an open source HTML framework that provides a straightforward way to create web pages that are fast, smooth loading, and prioritize the user experience. It can be used to easily create websites, stories, ads, and more. There are several reasons to use the AMP framework. Web page speed improves the user experience and core business metrics. Building AMP pages is simple and reduces developer overhead. AMP has lots of components that can be used as website building blocks, and they're already optimized for best performance. Besides the general benefits of the AMP framework, there are additional benefits for AMP on Google Search, such as serving from the Google cache and more opportunities to appear in AMP-related experiences. If you want to learn more about how AMP looks in Google Search results, check our developer documentation linked in the video description. When Google detects AMP on your website, you'll see a report in Search Console detailing any AMP issues that Google found on your pages. That can be really handy when reviewing your AMP implementation. It will help you focus your efforts on the most important tasks. The top level view shows crawled AMP pages with any issues found by Google. The default chart shows the trends for AMP errors, but you can click Valid with Warnings and Valid to see their trends too. In addition, you will see a checkbox to add the number of impressions your AMP pages got on search. This can be very helpful to understand how issues affect your results. Below the chart, you'll find a table with issues grouped by type. AMP pages that show an error cannot be shown in search results. For example, your AMP page is blocked by robots text, custom JavaScript is not allowed, or the HTML tag has an invalid layout specified by its attributes. AMP pages with warnings are indexed and can be shown in Google search results, but they might not be shown in AMP reach results or the top stories carousel. Warnings include non-optimal pages or use of deprecated features that may become errors in the future. Valid AMP pages work as expected for users and can be included in AMP-related features. So if everything is green, it means you're doing a great job. By default, issues are sorted by a combination of severity, validation state, and number of pages affected. If you see an error that seems like a result of a bad template, Fix it first, then continue fixing other issues that are unique to each page. Click a specific issue to see more details, with a link to learn more about how to fix it and a process to notify Google about your fixes, which I'll talk about in a minute. You'll also find a list of example URLs affected by this issue. You can click a specific URL to find the HTML and exact location of the offending code. If you want to see a full list of errors for a specific URL that is shown in the report, click the Inspect icon next to the URL. This will open the URL inspection already discussed in this video series. This test pinpoints all errors, not just the current issue, and provides a code explorer highlighting the errors and providing more information. It is possible that an error has been fixed in the live page but it's still listed as an error because it has not been recrawled. You can check that by testing the live version of your page in the URL inspection results. If that's the case, request validation through the AMP issue page. Now that you know what needs to be fixed, you have two options. Make the required code changes yourself or share the details with a developer that can perform code changes to your website. You can do that by grabbing a link using the Share button from any issue page. Note that the sharing link grants access only to the current page, plus any validation history pages for this issue. 
it does not grant access to other pages for your resource or enable the shared user to perform any actions on your property or account. You can revoke the link at any time by disabling sharing for this page. It might also be a good idea to use the AMP test tool, where in addition to testing a specific page, you can also upload a piece of code to check for issues. This can be helpful to debug issues for new pages. But note that the tool will check your general AMP implementation without specific information about Google indexing. After you or your developer fix the error, confirm the fix by inspecting the live version of the page. Then click Validate Fix from the AMP issue page, and Google will validate your changes. The validation process can take several days, and you will receive progress notifications by email. If the current instance exists in a sample of pages, validation ends, and the validation state remains unchanged. If the sample pages do not have the current error, validation continues with state started. When all error or warning URLs have been checked and the issue count is zero, the issue state changes to past. You can see the progress of a validation request by clicking the validation details link in the issue details page. To learn more about the AMP issues on your pages, missing pages troubleshooting, validation stages, and other details about this report, visit the Search Console Help Center. I hope this video helped you understand how to optimize your website by improving AMP warnings and errors. Your users will thank you for that. In the next episode, I'll talk about how to use Search Console to submit sitemaps to Google, how to review your sitemap submission history, and how to find errors that Google encountered when parsing your submitted sitemaps. Don't forget to subscribe to the Google Webmasters YouTube channel, where we'll be publishing lots of Search Console videos. Stay tuned. This is Webby. This is Ampi. They're going for a run. Wait for me, Ampi! Ah!